All right, so we have come a long way and we are still scratching the surface of what we can do with the CMS. We can extend it to whatever we want. Right now, what I really want is to have the ability to have users come here and make comments on our post, right? We click on it. I want to be able to have users come here, fill up a comment and submit the form. Right now, they can't do that. We get this undefined post ID. And I mean, we get a lot of mistakes here, right? So we want to be able to actually not have any of these problems and be able to allow users to submit comments. So the first thing that we need to do is we need to go to the database and we need to create another table. So we need to go to PHP My Admin here, click on CMS, and let's create a new table called Comments. C O M M E T S. And here we're going to set seven rows. All right. And let's go ahead and do that right now. The first row is going to be comment ID. Comment ID. The second, well, right here, we need to set this up first. Hold on. So integer, three values, and index primary and auto increment. Always on the ID, all right? Now, the second will be comment, comment, post, ID. And this one's going to have also three, and that's not going to auto increment. We're going to increment that by ourselves. Comment date. And if you want to just copy this comment thing and change it, that's fine. You can do that. Comment. And we're going to say that comment author, right? Or title. No, that's fine. Author is fine. All right. And the next one would be maybe the email. I mean, we can't extend it. We can come back and add tables if we wanted to. I just want to set the most common tables here. All right. So comment, common ID, common post ID, common author, common email. What else we want from the from them? Uh, the, what about the content? Content. I think that's good. What about the status? Right. Status. What else do we need from a user? So we have the comment ID, the comment ID, comment post ID. Oh, the date. That's a very useful one, actually. The date. All right. So coming out there is a VAR card, and that's 255. Email, VAR card, 255 would do. Content, text, comment status. Um, let's just say VAR card, and let's just put 255. This one is just the date, and that's it. We're done with this, actually. Let's just go ahead and save it. Let's make sure that everything's spelled correctly here. All right, and save it. All right. So all we need to do here is go back, go and click Insert, and let's insert some data first, because we want to be able to display something for now, and just to see that the thing that this is working. Comment post ID, let's say 10. Coming author, let's say Edwin Diaz, email Edwin Diaz at Edwin Diaz.com. Comment content, this is just an example. Example content. Thank you. <laughs> comment status, uh, we're going to say approved. And comment date, we're just going to say this date right here. And that's it. And we ignore whatever is below here. If we wanted to add something else, we will uncheck this. But right now, we just need one table. That's fine. I think we can do with one table. Perfect. Now that we have created a table and inserted some data, the next thing is to go and jump into the code and do some PHP and some queries. All right? But we need to build that form first. All right. Anyways, thank you so much for watching. And I'll see you in the next lecture. Right? Take care.